Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm going to be performing a Ed Marlowe uh, version of Open Prediction, the Open Prediction plot. I, ha I will tell you right now, I have a kind of a mild obsession with the Open Prediction plot. I have uh, perform many different versions on Magic Lives over the last few months. Well, this is uh, an Ed Marlowe routine, and it's such a clever way of achieving the open prediction in such a fair way. Um, I wasn't aware of this until recently, and my friend Nemed Phoenix showed me this, and when he did, oh my gosh, I was blown away. I was completely fooled. It's an incredible routine. I'm going to perform it for you right now. Uh, I also have Sarah behind the camera. Hey, Sarah. Hi. Uh, and you're going to help me with this, if that's okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to make an open prediction with this deck of cards. Now, what I mean by an open prediction, I mean I'm going to openly tell you what my prediction is. Right. And your job is to try your absolute best to make that prediction not come true. But I'm telling you, just with me making the prediction, um, it will come true. Now, this is what's going to happen. Sarah, I'm telling you right now, you are going to pick the three of hearts. That's the card you're going to pick. Right. Now, I'm going to deal cards one at a time like this into a face-up pile. You are going to say stop anytime you want to. Whenever you say stop, I'm going to deal that card face down so you can keep an eye on it the whole time. I guarantee you when you say stop, you will stop on the three of hearts. Okay. Your job is to try and not stop on the three of hearts. Obviously, as I'm dealing cards onto the table, if you see the three of hearts, it means that I've got it wrong and you've won. Uh, if, however... Um, it hasn't. We'll look at every single card before we check out what the face down card is. Try and stop me before we get to the end. Sarah, look at this. I'm just going to deal cards on the table. You can see them all going past. Just say stop anytime you want to. Anytime. Uh, stop. Now, that's the card that you stopped on. Yeah. I can either leave that there or we can go further. I'm telling you right now, though, that the card you eventually settle on will be the three of hearts. Do you want to carry on or do you want to stop right there? Uh, we'll stop. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. You, last chance. No, no. I'm good. Okay, if you'd gone one more, it would have been the Ace of Hearts. If you'd gone one more, it would have been the King of Diamonds. Uh, we're going to have a look at all of these cards uh, Queen of Spades, Four of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, Eight of, the Eight of Diamonds. We're going to look at every single one of these cards. Can you remember the card I said it would be? Three of Spades. Do you, is it? The Three of Hearts, actually. But there you go. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Do you see the Three of Hearts here? No. It's, there's a Three of Diamonds. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a, a queen of hearts, but I don't see the three of hearts. Do you? No. And we left one card. Where's it gone? There we go. We left, we left one card. Do you remember? Yeah. One card and one card only. And you could have stopped any time you wanted to. Okay. And you stopped right there. Is that? Right on the three of hearts. <laughs> Foregone conclusion. Absolutely foregone conclusion. Guys, do me a favour. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I think that trick is so bloody clever. I absolutely love performing this routine. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, please do me a favour. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a, uh, leave a comment. Like the video. And I'm going to be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.